All right, welcome back folks. What we are going to learn today is how to set up Sonotype Nexus 3 on Red Hat Enterprise Linux in EC2 instance. Okay, so what is Nexus? So Nexus is uh, actually a binary repo manager which is used for storing your uh, build artifacts. Uh, this is really effective because you don't want Jenkins uh, to store all the uh, you know uh, build output, right? Because Jenkins is going to run a lot of builds on a daily basis or hourly basis. So you don't want to you know load your Jenkins with all the binaries. Rather, you want to use a separate tool where all the artifacts uh, you know can be stored. It is like you know single uh, source of uh, truth for all your artifacts. Okay, so uh, Sonar Type Nexus is a Java based tool. Um, so while we set up, we, we have to install Java and then, you know, we will actually get started. So I do have all the instruction documented in my website, coachdevops.com. So you can definitely look at this website for, uh, you know, actual instruction. Okay. So let's get uh, started, guys. So if you see here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to provision a Red Hat uh, Enterprise uh, 8 EC2 instance. Okay. And then I would be installing uh, Java. Uh, open JDK on, on it. Once I install Java, I would be downloading Nexus 3.19.0 iPhone 01 version, which is kind of latest as of for today, which is October 1st, 2019. Uh, once you download, you'll have to extract and then, you know, I'll be creating a user called Nexus and then uh, I would be providing, um, uh, you know, like ownership of all these, uh, you know, Nexus folders. Um, once you do that, we would be configuring uh, necessary memory settings uh, for Nexus. And then we are going to set up uh, Nexus to run as a service so that, you know, every time you restart the uh, EC2 instance, the service is, uh, you know, automatically started. Okay. And then finally, we will also see uh, maybe in the next video, how to integrate uh, Nexus with Jenkins as well. Okay. So let's get started. Like I said, I'm going to go to uh, Amazon EC2 and then provision a new EC2 instance. So I'm going to use Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 version. I'm going to make it t2.medium because sometimes it can be a bit slow whenever you run the sudo m update. So I'm going to use t2.medium. Click on next, add storage. You can all leave default, add tags. So I'm going to name this as Nexus. Um, EC2 instance. Okay. Click on next. I'm going to open up 8081 port, which is actually a default port for uh, Sonar Type Nexus. And then click on review and launch. Launch. I want to actually use my existing key. Click on launch instance. All right, let's get started. Let's start with sudo m update because this is the brand new ECT instance. Okay, so it's, it has been updated. Let's start with the wget because we need to have wget in order to install uh, this utility. Okay, and let's also install Java. Okay, so Java is installed and then I'm going to navigate into OPT folder and from there I'm going to download Sonar type version. So we are downloading Sonar type version 3.19.0 iPhone 01 which is kind of a latest as of today which is October 1st 2019. Okay, now the, um, the tar file has been downloaded, then I'm going to extract the tar file. And then once it is done, I'm going to rename that into Nexus folder. Okay, so right now, as you can see here, we have uh, extracted and then renamed into Nexus folder. It also, during the extraction, it also created this folder as well. Okay, so fantastic. Now what we have to do, we have to create a user called uh, Nexus because um, you don't want to start uh, Nexus as a root user. Uh, it is always recommended to create a separate user per service. Um, so we have done it and then I'm going to give permission. 
to uh, nexus folder and also the workspace as well okay and then i'm going to open up this particular file where i'm going to say uh, you know because we are going to run nexus as a um, nexus user right so you'll have to give that um, you'll have to uncomment and then you know add this once it is done we have to configure memory settings in the nexus configuration file okay um, so since our uh, ec2 instance is um, medium i think uh, you can give probably 1024 if it is uh, small i think you can give 512 okay so i'm going to give 1024 and then i'm also going to give 1024 as well okay i think um rest of the information you can leave it as, you know as it is if you see here we are going to log uh, you know into this particular folder so all the logs will be returned in this folder and then all your uh, you know artifacts will be stored in this particular location sometime you can also use uh, external uh, you know hard drive if you wanted to mount into external or, or you know some other uh, location you can also mention that here as well okay but we can leave it as it is and then save this file so once i save this file uh, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to, um, you know, perform this linking. Okay, because I want to start um, Nexus as a service. Uh, you know, every time you uh, stop the instance and then restart, you don't want to, you know, uh, go and uh, start, the, start the Nexus service manually, right? Uh, so you want to start that as a service. So that is that particular command. All right, so it is done. So let's go ahead and start our Nexus service. Okay, so it says that service is starting. You can also perform this command as well, just to make sure uh, you know your service is up and running. Nexus is uh, uh, running. You can also quickly check the logs as well. Oh, fantastic! Look at that. So it says that you know Nexus is started. Perfect. Uh, and then we should be able to access Nexus in the browser. Okay, so you can also see here as well localhost. I'm going to use the curl um, command and then a081. Right, perfect. See, we are able to see the output. So it means that Nexus is up and running. Right, so let's quickly go to EC2 instance and then um, click on the public DNS name and access it here 8081. Wow, look at that. So that's our Nexus uh, homepage. So let's sign in. The default username and password is admin. And then uh, the password is actually stored in this uh, new location. Uh, so this is happening, uh, you know, they just added from the latest version. So you'll have to, uh, you know, perform this cat command and then copy the password from here. Until there and then let's uh, paste the password here and then sign in so it is asking you to set up so obviously right we want to change the password so i'm going to give admin123 then admin123 next um, configure anonymous access i don't actually recommend this um, so you can just leave it like that click on next um, so that's it guys that's it. So our Nexus is uh, set up. Awesome guys. Thank you for watching the video.